Hello guys, I decided to do a little bonus video, vlog style Q&A to address some of the burning juicy questions you have regarding the divorce, what's next, what's going on, because my life right now is like a legitimate soap opera. I'm starting over, I'm in my single mom era, so there's a lot to discuss and don't be fooled by my perky demeanor. I mean, things are a roller coaster, but I am focusing so much on my mental health right now and getting into a good mindset. The first question that has been coming up a lot is, am I moving? What's the living situation? So no, I am not planning on moving if I can at all avoid it. I love my house. I'm a home buddy. I live right down the street from my dad and my stepmom. And when we got this house in 2016, it was so affordable compared to real estate now. And I refinanced to a 15 year mortgage in which I am paying less every month for my mortgage than I would pay if I got an apartment or a condo in my area because real estate prices in San Diego are crazy. And he is currently still here, which in some ways, is really hard in some ways is good for the kids because as long as he's here it's less disruption but legally he is entitled to stay here until everything is finalized and how long does the divorce take um well i learned in california minimum of six months could take years just depending on how things play out i really hope that is not the case next question is do the kids know what is going on yet and no they do not because again as long as he's still living here you know their routine has not really changed all that much and that is something that i'm dreading the most because carter is my sensitive boy and i don't know how he's gonna take it so now i'm gonna get into some tea okay because some questions i'm getting is am i going to date again when and my answer may shock you here's the truth of the matter you guys um i am not planning on dating again ever or having any sort of romantic relationship again and i know that sounds dramatic and when i tell people this they're like oh Brittany, you're just going through a breakup you say this now but you're going to change your mind and look maybe i will i'm not going to say i'll never change my mind but at this point in time i am just not interested in being with anybody like i've seen what i need to see and i i just want to ride solo i just want to uh, focus on myself my kids and i have so many great friends and family nearby i just don't see romance in the cards for me and being totally honest i'm a little bit scarred i'm damaged from all of this so it's just not in my radar whatsoever and i am okay with that i'm good with that and i think we need to normalize people choosing to be single yes i'm in therapy to sort out some of my thoughts feelings traumas all of that but I really do feel that I'm just done with romance, with relationships, and there are other things to life. There's more to life. Next question, are we talking? Are we on speaking terms? And we do communicate via text about the kids, and that's kind of where we're at. We're doing kind of like a split custody arrangement while we still live together, and we're basically like, ships in the night. I'm about to eat lunch now and something that has really been helping me a lot is I am very dedicated to meal prepping because if I don't prep my meals in advance then I just end up eating like crap and if I eat junky then I just don't feel as good. I have low energy, I have lower mood. So for my lunches I have been making salads for the week in advance and I try to make them fun and new and exciting every week so I have a lot of different toppings. When I go to eat it, I'll also add an avocado. I've been liking this green goddess dressing. And then for my dinner meal prep, I have a little hack that has really helped me. It is so smart, you need to try this. So I have started ordering the HelloFresh meal kits, but I'll order for a larger portion size. So I only have to cook once and then that becomes my meal prep and I have meals and dinner for the rest of the week. And I even worked with them years ago. I'm very excited that they are sponsoring this portion of today's video so I can give you guys a discount code 50% off if you wanna try it and specifically try it for your meal prep with the school you're starting. This is just one less thing you have to think about, one less thing you have to worry about. I don't have to find the recipes. I don't have to go out and shop for all the ingredients. Like it just comes to me and it makes it much easier and they have so many good options on there. What I do is I go on the app and I'll just scroll through what recipes look good. And I try to pick more vegetable 
dishes, like more healthy dishes. And they also have a lot of dishes on there that you can fully make in under 15 minutes. They're the quick and fast meals. Another cool thing, they now have a ton of different optional add-on items. So you can add on side dishes, extra protein, lunch options, even desserts and treats. Over the years, I have tried pretty much every meal kit service that is out there. HelloFresh is my favorite. The food just tastes the best. The price is amazing for everything that you get. This is just a really easy way to take one really annoying, stressful weekly task of what are we all having for dinner every single night of my life? Let HelloFresh do it for you. So go to hellofresh.com and you can put in my code 50 bvsor to get 50% off and free shipping. I will have all the information down in the description box and also the first pinned comment. And now I'm going to wash my makeup brushes, something I haven't done in too long. Side note, you guys, these are the best makeup brushes. An entire set, like under 30 bucks. Next question I'm going to address is, what about this divorce is the most difficult? What is stressing me out the most? And first and foremost, above everything else, is how this is going to affect the kids, specifically Carter. But I think not until Ryan moves out are we gonna need to really have that conversation and we're gonna work with a therapist. The other thing that is beyond comprehension um, is how expensive this is. My legal bills for this month is the same amount that I was paid for my first job out of college, my annual salary. Like that is the level here. I don't know if this is common for all divorces or just ours or what is going on, but between the retainers and the forensic accountants and all this stuff, it it's crazy and yesterday I had a panic attack, like full on, I got my first bill and I was like, had a panic attack. <laughs> and I followed the tip from my last video, like I did a meditation, I did the physiological sigh, like that breathing technique, and I was able to get myself out of a panic attack. But yeah, that is why I am particularly grateful right now for brands like HelloFresh and for you guys, if you ever shop through my link, because I just feel this whole new level of pressure to provide, not just for myself, but for my kids. Just have to stay positive that everything's going to be okay. It's all gonna work out. Other question that I think is really interesting that I wanted to touch on is, were there any red flags? What are things to avoid, to look out for? A couple of big ones that I will teach my children. The first is when people show you who they are, believe them the first time. When you are at a point that you are starting to make excuses for someone or you are hoping, wishing they're going to change, I would say that's a big warning sign. Also my little approach to dating that is not going to apply to me because I'm not planning on dating. But for my kids, this is what I will share with them. It's the red orange flag theory, okay? So red flags are things that if somebody does, that's an instant deal breaker. If you see that behavior, then they are cut off, you cut your losses and run. So know what your red flags are. And then the orange flags are things that are serious, but possibly could change. I would give them three chances to address a behavior that is an orange flag once you communicate to them. And if that happens three times without changing, at that point, it then is becoming a pattern and there's a very low chance that it will ever change. And then the situation flips where it becomes on you because you are allowing that behavior to a certain extent. What you tolerate you encourage. So you have to be able to identify those patterns. And if someone does not take you seriously and does not make those changes, you have to do what is best for you. Another huge thing that I never really thought to look for that I think is hugely, vastly important and cannot be understated. And that is to really pay attention to how somebody reacts in an argument or if you are expressing negative feelings to them or do they hear you? Do they validate you? How are they in a conflict or do they get defensive? Do they turn things on you? Because through a course of a relationship, you're going to have to work through things and how somebody does that can determine whether you succeed or fail. And again, these are kind of just general things that I've learned in my life, not specific to our situation necessarily. So that is going to wrap up this little Q&A vlog style video. Don't forget if you wanna try HelloFresh, my link for 50% off is in the description box. I'm telling you, it is so convenient. The food is so good and it just takes a huge stress off your plate of what are we having for dinner? 
every single night of your life. Let them come up with the recipes, send you the food, and make your life that much easier. So again, all the information is in the description box. And with all of that said, thank you guys for all of your support. I'm calling you guys my support squad. I could not be getting through this nearly as well without you. I appreciate you so much. And with all of that said, I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.